Samsung's ultra flagships always have the company's greatest hardware, such as an excellent camera setup, a built-in S Pen, and a tough titanium-coated chassis. However, the displays have always been an outstanding feature of Samsung's flagships. The Samsung M13 OLED screen utilized on the Galaxy S24 Ultra outperforms all of its competitors in terms of color accuracy, real-life brightness, and power economy. Since 2021's Galaxy S21 Ultra, Ultra phones have featured 6.8-inch OLED panels with enhanced brightness, color accuracy, power efficiency, and LTPO technology. According to an internet source, the S25 Ultra's display size could eventually be increased to 6.9 inches. According to a translated screenshot, Ice Universe announced the development in a purported post on the Chinese microblogging site Weibo. If correct, the S25 Ultra will be the first Samsung flagship to feature a 6.9-inch display since the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in August 2020, which marked the conclusion of the Note series. Even the S20 Ultra from early 2020 had a 6.9-inch display, so Samsung is effectively bringing that display size back next year, although with a flat screen rather than the curved displays of the past. The S25 Ultra is expected to be the most radical change to Samsung's flagships in a long time, with rumors already hinting at an entirely new design, a new custom Exynos Dream chip expected to be fabricated on Samsung Foundry's second-generation 3 nanometer process and upgraded cameras. The S24 Ultra is the company's flagship for 2024, and Samsung's Ultra series consistently ranks among the best smartphones each year. The S24 Ultra retains all of the best features of Samsung's top-tier flagships, such as the stunning display and built-in S Pen, while also introducing additional upgrades from the S23 Ultra, such as a flat display, a titanium-coated frame, and a 5x telephoto camera. The other three rear cameras are just as impressive. The primary sensor is the same fantastic 200 megapixels ISOCELL AP3 as the S23 Ultra, with a good 3x 10 megapixel zoom lens and a 12 megapixels ultra wide. However, since its release, the S24 Ultra has been plagued by specialized camera processing difficulties. In terms of image quality, the new 5x telephoto zoom lens fell short of the older 10x lens for long range zooming. The camera's white balance adjustment was erratic, occasionally producing cooler outputs than the scene suggested. Many customers also observed an unnatural red tint in low-light photos taken with the phone, resulting in average camera performance for an ultra phone. Fortunately, Samsung has listened to all user comments and is working to improve camera performance through updates. To this end, prominent Samsung tipster Ice Universe has reported that the company plans to fix these three major camera issues with an upcoming firmware update. However, he notes that this update has no accurate timeline so users might be in for a waiting period. He hopes for this big camera update to arrive by the end of this month. It must be stated that Samsung produces excellent cameras, but this type of photo optimization, which is only available months later, is unacceptable for phones costing more than $1,000. We hope the firm improves its user experience by delivering flawless camera optimization right out of the box with the Galaxy S25 Ultra. If Google and Apple can do it with their flagships, why can't Samsung? Over the last few years, Samsung Image Sensor has seen exponential growth. The company's ISOCELL sensor has successfully developed and supplied some of the highest quality cameras on the market, capturing images in any lighting condition. But here are some startling new reports that have surfaced online. Samsung plans to replace its proprietary ISOCELL Image Sensor with a Japanese-based Sony Image Sensor. The newest incredible rumor came from tech-savvy tipster Revekness via his Twitter account. Although there are no substantial details to back up the rumor, it is only a tweet. However, many of his predictions or rumors came true. In his amusing tweet, he mentioned that Samsung's next Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus devices will use Sony's image sensor rather than the ISOCELL GN3 sensor. Notably, the tipster skips the S25 Ultra variant. However, rumors regarding the Ultra variant also surfaced on various platforms. Some of those rumors speculated Samsung might use a crazy 200 megapixels ISOCELL sensor of size 1, 
for the S25 Ultra variant. That is assumed to have a pixel size of 0.8 micrometer with a dual pixel autofocus pixels technology. The regular Galaxy S23 and S23 Plus uses an ISOCELL GN350 megapixels image sensor. However, the S23 Ultra includes a 200 megapixels ISOCELL HP2 image sensor. Furthermore, the S22 series employs the same ISOCELL GN550 megapixel sensor. It is also predicted that Samsung will use the same ISOCELL GN3 sensor for their upcoming flagship Galaxy S24 series. This could be true again, as the business has recently prioritized generative AI above cameras. Aside from the image sensor, the S25 series is expected to include a huge 10-core Exynos 2500 SOC setup produced with 3M technology. However, we cannot ignore the true change taking place. For example, Samsung recently unveiled a 50 megapixels ISOCELL GNK sensor with enhanced HER and video capabilities. What Samsung is preparing is unknown, but if such reports are true, we can expect tremendous things. Sony's image sensor is superior to ISOCELL, particularly for low light and higher quality photos and movies. So, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll keep an eye out and get back to you. See you tomorrow. Peace out.